Hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and today we're going to look at Aurelia. We're going to create a basic project using it. If you don't already know, Aurelia is a JavaScript client framework. It's similar to uh, a lot of other client side frameworks. A lot of people compare it to Angular 2. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, get started using it. So, easiest way to get started is we're going to make a directory, call it hello world. And to do everything inside Aurelia, we actually need something called JSPM. So we already have, it's a package manager. We already have it installed, but if you didn't, you would just run this command. I'll show you. npm install JSPMG, so it's global. But we already have it installed. And then we want to make sure we also install HTTP server. We'll just use that just so we can quickly get everything running here. And then we're going to go ahead and run JSPM init. And what this is going to do, it's kind of like npm init. It's going to create a basic package, an empty file for us. So we're just going to hit enter all the way through here. And by the way, it's going to use Babel. That's important for us. And use the system.js. And that's going to do our loader. Okay, so we have all our files now. And we also need to make sure this is saved as a dependency, JSPM, and start our project here. Just take one second. Okay, great. Everything's installed here. Now the two most important packages we need uh, for our demo here is the Aurelia framework. And that has a bunch of dependencies, so it'll get it all installed. And the Aurelia bootstrapper. And this by default will save it into our config file, so we don't need a due date, any dashes, save dev, or anything like we need in npm. Great. So everything, uh, all our JSPM packages are installed. So let's create an index to HTML. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this from my other screen here. And the most important thing to realize here, of course, this is normal HTML. Um, so we have something called a body. We have Aurelia app here, and this tells Aurelia that it's basically an Aurelia application. And then we're using system.import, which is part of system.js. I'm not going to get into details on that, but we're essentially going to use the Aurelia bootstrapper here that we installed earlier. So we'll right quit there. And to make this work, we're going to have to create a directory called source. And inside our source directory, we're going to have to create two files, one app.js and one app.html. And this is kind of how Aurelia works. It has these view, view models. And so this is going to be our this is going to be our program here. We're going to go welcome to Aurelia. Uh, we're going to get get full name. We're going to use string literals here to get this dot first name, this dot last name. Um, so this basically this is a function here called full name, and then we have a submit, and we're going to have now here's actually where your view is. And one thing to keep in mind with Aurelia is that your views all have templates. So you will have uh, everything surrounded in a template. And this is a little bit here. We have our first name. You can, instead of Aurelia, you can use these dot binds. And that basically will bind that first name to this value here, this input. And same thing with last name, and then we can have the full name here, and the syntax gets the gets it right from our view model. Basically, it's a component. 
All right, so now we have that. Now we need to do a couple more things. I'm going to go into our config.js file. And we can leave these two. What we're going to do is we're going to add in two more. One for ES7 decorators. And you do definitely need these for this to work. And ES7 class properties. And in the paths right here, you just need to specify that our path for everything is under our source folder. All right, so that should be it. So we can go ahead and take it for a spin and see if it works. We'll run the HTTP server that we had before. And we'll port it to port 4200. All right, so it's running. So let's see if it works. There it is. So here's our first name, Eric. Test. Submit. Welcome, Eric. Test. So this was all within our Rally app that we just created. You can see here, it's uh, ran it here. Of course, if we wanted to be a little more advanced, we'd create a gulp file or or use Webpack or something like that and create it so it actually bundles all our files together and compiles and does everything we need. But just for the simple example, this is all we need. Thanks again. If you have any questions, uh, take a look in the comments. Uh, leave a comment below. And also, um, in the description below, I left a link to my new book, my Ember.js cookbook. You can check that out. And also links to my mailing list where I give tips and information on Aurelia, Amber Jess and other JavaScript frameworks. Thanks.